What's going on guys, unofficial Star Wars here, hope you're all doing well, and in today's video we're talking about a new Bad Batch theory here I have for the overall Bad Batch series here, and what we're going to be seeing here in the final seasons, more or less about the overall Bad Batch, of course, be being the Bad Batch show, let's see how many times I can say Bad Batch throughout this video guys, but really this video is about Crosshair here, and what we saw with him in the newest episode. Of course, the latest episode of The Bad Batch, episode 11, Devil's Deal, takes place on Ryloth, and we do get to see a young Hera Syndulo, one of the main characters from Star Wars Rebels. And of course, aside from it being The Bad Batch, it didn't really showcase or have too much action there really going on with the actual Bad Batch team. They were there for about a good solid 30 to 45 seconds of screen time in that episode, and then they were gone. And then, of course, there was Crosshair, who played a pretty significant role throughout the episode, so here's what I have noticed noticed here with his character in this episode of course the last time we saw him in episode 8 he had major major severe burn marks going on there from getting burned from the ion cannon there or the ion I guess blaster or I guess type of venator engines there ion engines there from the venator I guess is what they're called and we saw that actually hit his face of course and we didn't exactly get too much of a closer look until this newest episode there and where he was really hit there and of course that there was in the back of his head and if we take a closer look that's exactly where the inhibitor chip is which leads on to this whole theory and suspicion and prediction here on the latest episodes or uh, I guess more newer episodes of the Bad Batch that we're going to be seeing here of actual Crosshair making a comeback and joining his brothers back in the actual Bad Batch team there and even furthermore some other theories and suspicions there I have for his character is actually maybe seeing him sacrifice himself in some sort of way as type of a, a redemption almost. Aside from that, I'm going to leave that all for a whole separate video there. So really what an ion cannon does to you is it's actually used in the real world for cancer treatments there to destroy different cells. And as of what we know actually about the inhibitor chip, of course it is a chip, but it's more or less classified almost as a tumor in some sorts and ways, just the way it's placed and the way that it's used as well, of course, but it's more or less the way that it's actually placed upon the actual brain there and in the actual head there and how it takes i guess how it takes over for the actual person of course that's star wars logic and that's in the star wars universe right now we're talking about real life logic and how ions and more or less ion cannons are actually used in the real world for cancer treatments and how they destroy tumors and cells and essentially what i'm saying is the inhibitor chip is almost like a tumor so it would make sense that being hit by an ion cannon especially at the extremist that crosshair was actually hit by that thing it would make sense that of course it would burn through where his actual inhibitor chip is destroying and getting rid of this nasty nasty inhibitor chip re pretty much bringing back this the normal crosshair pretty much and that's something that we more or less have maybe already seen in this previous episode of the bad batch of course it really wasn't spoken all that much but hopefully in episode 12 and future episodes for the bad batch we will be able to see more and more of crosshair really slowly coming back and almost have like a progression of him redeeming himself and coming back as the good old crosshair that we all know and love much like we saw record do in the beginning episodes of the bad batch how in the bad batch uh like the newer or the uh the first couple of episodes he would slowly more and more start to hit his head in different scenes and then we would start to see a whole unravelment of him doing i guess order 66 type things there until the actual inhibitor chip takes over and just the whole idea of him complaining about all those different headaches of course until it led up to the actual inhibitor chip taking over and actually becoming a thing for him and essentially what my theory and suspicion here is pretty much the same exact thing happening for crosshair except vice versa and reversed essentially instead of an inhibitor chip getting worse and worse like we saw for wrecker we're going to see it get less worse and less worse for crosshair until he's able to meet up with his brothers once again and rejoin them and of course apologize and all that stuff is something we're going to see in a whole emotional reunion of course as well and maybe even then he's probably already i guess maybe maybe that isn't actually the case maybe he's already back and it's actually good old crosshair once again and instead he's just laying low simply until he's able to meet up again with his brothers and kind of turn himself in kind of quote unquote back into his fellow brothers and really get the chance to get away from the empire overall and that kind of leads me to our final thing the piece of evidence here that we actually saw for this maybe already happening and taking over and being a thing for crosshair is the fact that he simply takes off his helmet and i know this is something that we've seen before in previous episodes but more or less in the most recent episode is what we're talking
talking about with Captain Commander Hauser Ballast being one of the new and most fan favorite clones out there already just premiering in one single episode. Of course, I have my theories and suspicions that I'm going to be talking about here on the channel. So do be sure you are subscribed to the channel and hit that notification bell so you don't miss any of those videos. But something we do see with his character is really take off his helmet quite a bit. And that really remarks the whole freedom and free mindness of these clones. And that's something that we do see with Crosshair more and more throughout these different episodes. And really, I think that's something that we saw, I guess, more in the most recent episode of episode 11. Of course, he has done it in previous episodes, but I'm just kind of throwing it out there kind of almost as like a little piece of evidence. Guys, I want to know all of your thoughts and opinions down in the comment section down below. Do you think Crosshair is going to be making his redemption here very, very soon? Has he already started it? Was the Ion Cannon the, I guess, saving point there for him? Did it get rid of the actual inhibitor chip for him? Let me know all of that in the comment section down below. Leave a like on the video if you'd enjoy it, as it really does help with the channel, and check out our Instagram on official Star Wars for more Star Wars related content. And guys, thank you so much for all the love and support, both here on our YouTube and our Instagram. It means the absolute world to me. Of course, thank you guys so much for watching up until this point. May the Force be with you always. Catch you guys in the next video. Peace out.